Good afternoon. So it is the end of June. And uh, while I take a little bit of a break from the phone, I thought we should have a chat about what's going on in uh, the Traverse City real estate market. Because it's crazy and it's been crazy for over a year now. And uh, people are coming up with some really interesting explanations about why that is. And I'm in the thick of it every day. And uh, here's where we are. It's not a bubble, number one. People call me all the time and say, hey, are we in a bubble? Real estate is not the stock market. Real estate is not some other um, commodity markets out there that have this sudden rush to them, then everybody bails out. That's not what happens in real estate. It's not a bubble. It's about supply and demand. And what people need to understand is that there was a cataclysmic shift in the world economy with COVID. The remote worker phenomena is not something that is going to go back into the box. It is going to enable up to 32 million people to work wherever they want to and live wherever they want to. So what are those people looking for? Physical beauty, uh, small towns, Wi-Fi, jet airport service, uh, a food uh, economy, uh, uh, vineyards, everything that people are looking for. If Traverse City is not at the top of the list across the entire country, we're awfully near the top. This means that we're going to get a steady, steady stream for years to come as more and more people see their friends who are at the forefront of making that move, have a life that is really appealing to them as opposed to life in the big city. So that's not gonna stop. Supply and demand is not going to stop. What is very interesting for our market and what could happen here, mm, shout out to my good friends down at Nolan's, by the way, fabulous cigars locally. What could happen here is that locals who comprise in a typical year, about 85% of the market are local people making moves, uh, up, upsizing, downsizing, moving towards schools, moving away from schools, uh, family gets bigger, family gets smaller. But 85% of the market historically, 33 years I've been doing this, are locals. Locals might stop moving at the huge rate that they have been. As these prices continue to rise, there's a lot of locals that go, okay, so I could sell my house for $700,000, but if I wanna buy anything close to what I want, I'm gonna have to spend $700,000. And oh, by the way, my property taxes are gonna go up in the meantime. You might see local appetites become really hunkered down. That would take a lot of people out of the buying market, obviously. But there is such a demand for our area. And then as if the climate continues to change in wildfires and earthquakes and major, major uh, cataclysmic events happen around other parts of the country, if you look at the long-term studies, the Great Lakes states are going to become a refuge for people moving away from climate change. So the demand that is here is, this is not something that's gonna suddenly change uh, a year from now, two years from now. What you will see, and, and we've seen in other locales that became one of the hot spots, one of the, the it places in America, you see big price surges and then it evens out and it clips along at two or 3% appreciation. And then there's another big price surge and then it evens out and then there's another big price surge. Um, what's happening here is a very for real thing. If you are thinking about living here, get in the game, buy something now. Even if you have to pay next year's price, it still is a rock solid idea because you come back in five years. Let's look at it this way. It's a really interesting human phenomenon that we have trouble looking forward and seeing that day where every house around this neighborhood is gonna be worth two and $3 million You go, no it isn't. And then you say, well, wasn't that long ago, every house in this neighborhood was worth 100 to 150,000. You go, oh yeah, I remember that. It's a weird thing about human nature, but let's just look back three years. Would you buy any house that you could have bought if you had a time machine and could just go back three years? Yeah, of course you could. That was just three years ago. So three years from now, what's it gonna be like? Five years from now, what's it gonna be like? If you're thinking about buying, swallow hard, pay what looks like a ransom right now, pay next year's price if that's what you have to do to get in the game here 
and now you've got a place and now you're going to rise along with the tide of appreciation. So is it a bubble? No, it's not a bubble at all. It's pure supply and demand. Are prices going to crash? No. Will there be some buyer fatigue? Yeah. You'll see the the buying demand side pool shrink. You might even see it shrink by two thirds. But here's the thing. For every house that's put on the market right now, there's 25 buyers. So if two thirds of that goes away, then we'll be in a world where for every house that goes on the market, there's eight buyers, which means it's still going to be a crazy market. All right. Time to relax for a few minutes before I get back to the phone. Uh, that's what's going on in our market. The other thing that's going on in our market is summertime. Look at out there and enjoy this lovely weather. Talk to you soon.